Hello and welcome back once again to my Ultima 4 series. So uh, we've had some adventures, we've died, we've killed a lot of orcs, and we are right back here where we left off. Let's take a look at our map. Uh, we've been a few places, uh, and so let's see what's what where we've we been. So we are currently standing in Lord British's castle. So you can see where that is. It's the big building uh, right off uh, Brittany Bay. It says there. Uh, I haven't bothered to put a thing on that, but um, uh, Lord British is there. So that's where we are standing right now. If you look at the top in the middle, you'll see uh, where Dungeon Wrong is. That was that dungeon that we went to uh, where I got poisoned. And then we were, you know, we totally missed Lord British's castle. So I think what happened is I think I went, uh, instead of going uh, on the inside of that mountain range, just kind of ringing around Lord British's castle, I went around the outside of it, and then we ended up way over there uh, by Wrong and Lost Hope Bay. Um, so uh, we were actually somewhere between there and, and heading back when, when, when we died. So dying really just kind of accelerated our journey. So we are at, at Lord British's castle right now. So we are going to continue exploring the castle, and we've got a, 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 a hidden room right here. So let's go through and see what's what. Look at that, a whole other passageway that uh, we didn't know was here. Oh, and look, there's another hidden door. Ooh. Oh, and look at this. We have a door we can open. So first, let's go through this. Water. Let's talk to this gentleman. You meet a shepherdess, both strong and beautiful. Well, strong and beautiful shepherdess, tell me your name. I am Sean. What's your job? I watch the water. Yeah? It brings me peace. I come from a proud city. Art thou proud? I don't think so, huh? My town was destroyed for its pride. Ruins ride a lie on an isle at latitude K, J, and longitude L and L. Oh, interesting. Let's bring our map up here. Do we have K, K, and L, L? We don't. We don't. We don't have those markings. I think they, I think maybe the original map did, but we don't have those markings. So I don't know that that's super duper helpful. Um, but I'm going to write it down anyway. So uh, I, th that's probably Mingentia that um, we heard about from the king, I'm guessing. So um, lat K. J, long, LL. I'll see. Maybe there's another. Uh, I'll see. There's maybe there's something else on the web that will um, that will show that to me uh, with with the things. So let's go back. All right. Um, oops. Destroyed. Okay. So interesting. I don't suppose you can join me. No, nope, she's got to watch the water. Okay, well, thank you. That was fascinating. There's no other hidden rooms in here. It's interesting they have a water room. <laughs> you know, these Ritz people. You know, who knows? There's probably got a llama room in here somewhere as well. Let's descend this. Isn't that descend? Oh, I got to climb. Let's climb to the second floor. Oh, okay, interesting. This takes me to a different part of the second floor, I think. Yeah, and I can't. I can't open those. I don't see any more hidden stuff. So interesting. I wonder if I can get some keys or something to open some of this stuff. I don't want to do that. Let's go. Oh, look, there's another one here. I missed that. So right here, and this is going to take us outside outside the castle. So is there something? Oh, look at you. You meet a wise mage. What is your name? Joshua. Hello, Joshua. What's your job? I can help. Well, by all means, please help. The riddle. Okay, what riddle? The eight philosophies of avatarhood combine into and are made from truth, love, and courage. Now, 
Yeah, last episode we heard about there are three principles that have to do with the virtues. So could it be that that what he's talking about the riddle is really the um, is really the uh, what he's talking about here? What else do you have to say? More? You say yes, please tell me whatever you can tell me. What one thing creates and is created by all truths and all love and courage? What one thing creates and is created by all truths, all love and all courage? Holy moly. Maybe virtue. Yeah, he answers one riddle and then he gives another one. Sure. What well, one thing creates and is created by all truths, all love, and all courage. What well, one thing creates and is created by all truths, all love, and all courage. I got no clue. Interesting. Well, at least now we know we know what the three principles are. We heard about those earlier. All right, so is there any other hidden stuff in here? It's just how we got in and how we're getting out. Interesting. Okay, so let's, this is the main entryway here. Let's head outside. And then as I, all right, let's just check the periphery. There's nothing else I can check there. I don't see any hidden doorways. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so let's go out. Oh, look, we got a town right there. I'm guessing it might be the town of Britain. And lo and behold, it is. It is the town of Britain. So, um, we heard about something. Uh, the um, uh, Lord Britain told us that there was... Um, I thought he told us that there was something that was practiced in Britain. One of our virtues. So... We will have to figure that out, which one it is, and see who it is, see who can who can help us. So let's see what we have here. We've got armory, weaponry and armor. Well, let's see what I can get for, so I got, oh, I lost most of my gold. I had all that gold. Oh, dear God. Uh, I have nothing to sell, so let's see what he got. Um, can I afford leather? <laughs> 200 gold pieces. Everything I have. Nope. Nope. Goodbye. Holy moly. Oh, man. I had so much gold. I killed all those orcs. I killed orcs until there was no more orcs to kill. Healing. I don't need healing right now. I'm at full health because I'm recently resurrected. Thank you very much. Shalimar. Ooh, what is your job? You're another shepherd, I think. I watch over the children. So you, you are a shepherd of children. It takes a great deal of compassion. Ah, this is the town of compassion. Um, compassion strengthens the soul as knowledge tempers the mind. Have any kids? Well, I do in real life, so I'll say yes. Why not? Thou dost know what I mean. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go across this bridge. Oh, we got kids, we got kids, and we've got somebody playing a guitar. Let's talk to this guy. You meet a charming bard. He says, I am Olo, oh, uh, Iolo. What's your job? I play for the people. I play my lute and receive the good wishes of the people. Do you like music? Why, well, yes, I do. Thank you very much. I would join thee. Oh, excellent. Hey, there's two of us now. Excellent. How come he has more health than I do? <laughs> I am honored to join thee. Oh, boy. Let's see. All right, stop that. Uh, oh, I can't talk to you alone now because he's in my party. I'm done talking to him. He's just like, he's my workhorse. So let's look at his, his stats. Uh, so he's got uh, 16 strength, 19 dexterity, 
intelligence of 13. He's got a sling for a weapon. That's nice. Another ranged weapon. Um, and rocks are everywhere. Uh, he's got 300 hit points right now. Hit point max of 300. Experience is 240. He's got hands. He has no armor on him. He's got one torch. Actually, I guess we all share the same stuff there. Oh, yeah. I kind of mix some stuff there. I don't get two fireball. All right. Let's mix some stuff. So for fireball, A, F, yes, fireball, A, F, fireball, more riveting, riveting content as I mix reagents. But I want to have a, a, a steady supply of fireballs, uh, potentially. Um, I got nine. I'll make one more. I'll make one more for now. And they all worked. That's that's kind of the amazing thing. They all worked. Uh, I do need to know for the healing spell. I'm taking a peek at my little book here. I need ginseng with spider silk. And uh, he, uh, ginseng and spider silk. So I've got three spider silk, but I do not have... Um, I do not have any ginseng. Hmm. So maybe, I don't know if there's a place here where we can buy things. Let's, let's keep looking around. So I, I've got kind of the main thing I wanted to out of this, out of this town. I got a, got a, uh, a companion, which will make combat a little bit easier. All right. So let's talk to this gentleman. I am a poor beggar. My interest. Can I give him coins? I can give him coins. Uh, I, you know, I think it's going to help with the whole sacrifice and compassion. This is the town of compassion. It'll help my compassion score. I'll give him five. Oh, thank thee. I shall never forget thy kindness. Okay, so. Oh, look, we got stuff up here. Anybody tucked away in this little heavily wooded area? Nope. So what do we have here? We've got Britain Manor, which is a, which is a, um, an inn. Nobody locks their doors at these inns. Let's talk to this person. You meet a wise shepherd. Hello, wise shepherd. I am mentor. What is your job besides being a shepherd? I escape Mangentia, M-A-G-I-N-C-I-A. That's the ruins. Pride was too great in Mangentia. So Mangentia was supposed to be humility, but the city was destroyed by demons for its pride. Art thou proud? I don't think so. I'll say no. Pride exists without truth, love, or courage. So pride exists without truth, love, or courage. I'm thinking of the I'm thinking of the um, the riddle. Um, so we know pride is not what creates or is created by all love, all truth, all courage. So yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. So okay. Um, all right, interesting. I think we're done with him. All right, let's go. Nobody in that one. I don't see anything. It looks like a hidden room kind of thing. We've got food and spirits. We're doing okay on food. Um, let's just talk to this guy. What'll it be? Food or ale? Seven ale. That'll be two gold pieces. I'll pay you one. Won't pay, eh? You scum be gone. Okay, so. He didn't want to. He didn't want. He didn't want me to. He didn't want my. Um, he didn't want my uh, lousy, lousy gold piece. Okay, he's too busy. Even though you know, I have a, I have a bard with me. You know, you think the professional courtesy. I am Joe, drunken fighter. What's your job? I guess the fight or to drink. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> I have rum. Rum, hick. Why is 
You give me rum? No, I don't think that would be very healthy. Ah, uh, be it, Joe. <laughs> Didn't that wasn't that your name? I don't want to. I don't want to contribute. So that was to the east. That was Joe. And that's Joe. Um, okay, so job. Yeah, okay. Same same dialogue. Same dialogue there. I wonder if I get to this guy that's kind of stuck in the corner back here. He's kind of stuck between the bard and the <laughs> the bard and one of the Joes. He's is he another Joe? I don't know that I can find out. Come on, guys, move. Ah. <sighs> All right, well, I guess I'm not going to worry about him. I don't see any hidden stuff here, so. Um, this was, okay, so that down there was where I found, found Iolo. We've been up there. I haven't been necessarily all around this area. Okay, what about up here? This is the edge of the of the bar. And that's that. I th so I think I've let's go back across that little bridge. I want to make sure I explored everything over here. Stupid kids, get out of my way. Yeah, okay, so I think we've seen everything there is to see in Britain. Um, the one thing that uh, disappoints me is that there's no... Um, I've yet to see outside of Magentia uh, be able to find uh, some place to buy magical herbs. I'd really like to be able to have a few heal spells uh, under my belt, not only for myself, but in case I need to heal Iolo. So... Let's uh, pause here real quick. Let's take a look at the map. So now we've been to Britain. So we've, we've been to where Lord British's castle is. I'm not quite sure what the next place we want to go is. Um, we know where, where, where uh, Yehom is, and that's down here. And so that was a place of valor. So there is a companion there. I think most of these cities that are talked about have a companion for us if we can find them. Um, so we need to to go looking for um, other places to visit where we can find companions. So I, I do see um, kind of at the very uh, upper, uh, let's see, northwestern area there, there's another town. Um, if we can make it, it looks like there might be a path through the mountains to the, uh, to the west of Lord British's castle in Britain here. Maybe if we can make it through that passage and then head north, we can find that town. So let's do that. So a little bit of time has passed. I've spent a little bit of time, you notice I got a little bit more gold. I spent some time in the countryside roaming around, killing orcs and rogues and skeletons and things. And I've got up some stuff. Uh, got some more um, gold and did some, did some shopping and stuff. Let's, um, let's take a look at our stats here so uh you can see that now i have a dagger i bought this uh is something that i could use uh it's nice because it is a ranged weapon it is throwable um and so that gives me another range attack that's besides the more expensive spells i'm still wearing cloth armor i did discover that i cannot wear leather armor uh, I bought some leather armor, and um, I, I'm, as a mage, I'm not allowed to wear it. So I'm guessing I'm not allowed any armor whatsoever. I can't imagine I'll be allowed to wear chain mail or anything along those lines. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck with cloth, um, but I could upgrade my weapons a bit from the staff, which I still have. I still have my staff. So if I need to fall back on whacking people with my staff, uh, I have the ability to do so. Um, let's get back in there and let's look at what I, what Iolo's got. So Iolo is still using his sling, but he now has leather armor. He can wear leather armor. So I upgraded him, uh, to that to st for starters. Um, it's better than his cloth armor was. And, um, if we move along here, 
we will see that uh, we got our hands, we got my staff, and then we've got 49 daggers. So I've readied one dagger. It's in my hand. I've got 49 in my inventory. So I bought 50 of them. They're pretty cheap. Uh, so that way I have uh, I have a good supply of them. Once I use them and, and throw one of them, it's gone. I can't pull it from the body. There's no looting of bodies here, really, except for the chest, and it doesn't have doesn't give my give me my daggers back. So I bought a supply, so I've got a ton. Well, not a ton, but I have a number of them. Uh, so they'll be good for any upcoming battles. We have no extra armor besides what we're wearing. We still have one torch. I still need to find a place to buy torches. I'm not quite sure where you go to buy torches uh as of yet but uh because only uh, uh only thing people want to sell me is ale and food that's not you know weapons or or armor so uh yeah i need to figure where that where that uh, where you buy those things no gems no keys at the current time and we have no other items I, items i am kind of low on reagents uh, because I did a lot of mixing off camera as well, because I know that's not the most exciting thing. So you can see I've, I've still got my one blink. We'll have to try that at some point. It's supposed to take you vast distances in a particular direction. I made some more fireballs, and I made some uh, magic missiles that spell M there, which is supposed to uh, do a, have a stagger effect and then uh, produce some sort of internal damage that isn't visible. So we'll have to see just how effective that might be on various enemies. But I, so I think we've got pretty much everything we need at this point to begin our trek. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave the castle, or leave Britain, excuse me, the town of Britain. And we're going to head north and we're going to start off by killing skeletons. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a dagger at this guy and um, see what that does. And that takes care of him right away. Beautiful, beautiful. And Iolo with the sling is going to take care of another one uh, here. Tack north. And then I wonder if we can stack up. If I stand in front of Iolo, I wonder if that's a possibility. Um, let's give that a try. Okay, so I'm standing in front of him now. And now he can shoot. Yes, he can shoot around me. And now I can... Uh, I'm, you, I'm not throwing my dagger now. So this is what's nice. It's when I'm within range like that i can just stab at them and i'm not using up my daggers um but iolo can still do a range attack behind me and allows us to double dip here so we've got two kills so far that guy's fleeing this guy is coming in for the attack and uh, we're missing here iolo's got to kind of shoot around me so i can see where that might be a little difficult but we killed him all right and this guy was fleeing i think wasn't he He's not looking like he's fleeing. Oh, he's decided to come back for try number two. So let's see if we can take care of him. Get him, Iolo. Get him. Oh, now he's fleeing again. So get out of here. All right. I'm going to have Iolo open the chest because he's got more hit points than I do. So give it a shot, Iolo. Oh, we got 24 gold. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to head west and find the mountain range. And then we're going to go up to the north and find that gap in the mountains. And there it is. All right, so we're going to do like uh, two, two west, three west, and then uh, three or four north and just kind of continue to go uh, in that direction until we hopefully find this town or whatever it might be. Here we are in the forest a little bit, skirting the edges of it. And we'll continue on. If we hit the coast, we'll just head north. But wait a minute, there looks like our destination. We've got water here. Now, on the map to the to the west of that, there was just a little spit of land that jutted out into the sea. And that's what this is looking like here. This isn't going to go anywhere, right? Yeah, it just kind of ends. So this looks like we found our destination. So that's good. That's good news. Um, oh, but first, we got to kill some rogues here. So uh, uh, yeah, these guys still aren't worthy of a fireball spell. They they they're just not high enough. So you know, a dagger a dagger in the gut is is good enough for them, uh, or in the face if they get close enough, or a, a rock to the forehead from Iolo's Iolo's uh, sling. So we got them. They're both fleeing. They're both fleeing. But we got that guy, and uh, let's see. Oh, we got them both. All right, good. All right, Iolo, open the chest. What do we get? 
54 gold, not too bad. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is not you because this is not the symbol for a town. It's more like a castle. Uh, so I'm guessing you is still someplace uh, in this vicinity. We'll have to find that a little bit later. Uh, but while we're here, let's explore this place. Empath Abbey. Oh, okay, so this is someplace completely new. All right. I wonder if this is like the Lyceum. I think that I think the Lyceum had a similar uh, icon. Now that I think about it. All right. So we got a couple guards here. Um, let's talk to one of the guards. Just for chuckles here. I meet a guard. Yes, I kind of guessed that. What's your name? I am a gate guard. All right. And the gate to the Abbey. Yep. Yep. Here in the Oak Grove, many find the meaning of peace of peace and love. This is interesting because I'm getting a lot more dialogue from these guys and i really expect it i always kind of you know i guard the gate uh kind of thing you know but but they may ha i may have to talk to more guards um oh yes yeah, so our thoughts saturated with love well i am of course except for you know orcs and skeletons and rogues but beyond that sure why not <laughs> that does not need to be here okay well you know uh, you know Maybe I'm not totally saturated. Let's see what uh, what if I talk to this guy. I'd probably get the same the same um, dialogue uh, options here. But maybe if we answer no about being saturated to love, maybe that will tell us something new. Um, so I'll say no. Oh, interesting. There's a small shrine within the abbey. We know something about shrines. We were given a hint that we should, we should, when we find a shrine, we should meditate for one, two, and three minutes. Um, and that will, that will um, unlock uh, what we need to get from the shrine. So that is very, very important information, I think, there. So there is a shrine here. So we just need to find more information about where this shrine is might be um all right so let's ask about the shrine what can they tell us about it if i can figure out how to spell shrine there we go uh you can't help me with that okay probably because i'm yelling in his face I, I apparently have accidentally turned caps lock on which is horrible um which is horrible i i don't know if i can turn it off uh apparently not uh oh Okay, good. I was concerned things might be case sensitive, but they're not. All right. Oh, so here we have a child kind of in the welcoming spot. You meet a small but stately child. Those are kind of those are kind of rare. Stately childs. Stately stately childs. Stately children. What's your name? I scream <laughs> in his face. I am Chin Up. Oh wow, that's an interesting name. You got a, like a sister named Sit Up or something like that? All right, Chin Up. What do you do? I welcome thee unto the abbey. Okay, welcome us, welcome away. Do we get like a welcome bag? You know, some goodie gifts. You know, something like that. Art thou here in search of love? Yes, the beetle sent me. They said all I need is love. Um, then perhaps the oak grove. Oh, that's interesting. What about the oak grove? It's a grove of oak. Well, you know, okay, I am talking to a child. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't expect too much in the way of scintillating conversation. Um, okay, yeah, I got that. It's an oak grove. Uh, what else can you tell me? All right, I guess that's about it from you. Uh, chin up. Let's go here to the right side and let's look around. Okay, so we've got a door we can open and somebody is inside of it. So let's open that door and let's talk to this person that's standing here in a totally unadorned room. Uh, let's see who they might be. Um, she is Susanna, a lovely lady. Very nice. Very nice. What's your job, Susanna? I am a lady in waiting. Ooh, okay. What are you waiting for? She turns away. So apparently she was not waiting for me. Let's get out here and let's talk to some of these other people. We got this guy with a snake. I can never remember what these guys are. Uh, oh, a wise druid. Okay. So the snake people are druid. I need to I need to remember that because I can never. I don't know if that's supposed to be a staff, but it's moving, so that makes me think snake. Okay, his job is that he holds great wisdom. All right, 
All right. What wisdom do you hold? I, I yell at him. What dost thou ask of me? Wisdom? Maybe you can tell me about love? He can't help us with love. Yeah, okay, I don't understand this guy. He says, if you ask him for wisdom, he says, what does that ask of me? And then maybe you have to find the right thing. But he knows nothing. All right, sir, goodbye. Let's talk to this guard. Um, you meet a guard. Yes, name. She says, I'm a past guard. Are you noticing that all these guards are female here? It's like they hired the Amazons to uh, to get these past guards. I don't know why you call yourself a past guard. I mean, this is, is it should be like the cul-de-sac guard. That should be your name, cul-de-sac guard, I think. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Um, so what is it that you do here? Oh, she guards the passages. So that's what the past guard means. All right. Uh, so what can you tell me about the passages? There is no danger. Well, that's good to know. I would hate to get attacked here in the passages. Danger. Well, not compared to a dungeon ultra room. Yeah, yeah, we need. We haven't discovered that yet. Uh, we need to do that. Um, I don't think we made it to the ultra room yet when um, uh, we had to leave a dungeon wrong because I was dying. Hast thou solved the altars, she asks. Nope, I have definitely not. From them, a three-part key is gained needed to enter the chamber of the codex. Ooh, that is, I think, an important bit of information. We need to remember that for the future. Okay. So, can you tell us anything about that key? Nope, can't tell us about the key or the chamber. All right. Well, thank you, Pascard. Very good luck to you on your job there. I'm, I'm, as I'm going, I'm looking around for, for, for secret doors. I'm not really seeing any. Uh, this looks like the same dialogue with this pass guard. Um, yeah, giving us the same thing there. So let's go in, in this little room and see what's what. This appears to be a healer, and we don't really need any healing. But let's, uh, let's take a minute and talk to this guy. Uh, a bold paladin. Okay. What is your name, sir? He is Malachor or Malcor. What's your job? He solves quests. All right. I am in the quest business. My last qu quest took me near Spiritwood. All right. Interesting. What do you have to tell me about Spiritwood? Art thou on a quest? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, best of luck to thee. Oh, thank you. But I want no part in your quest, sir, he says. Uh, just give you luck. Nope, I can't give you luck beyond what I already gave you. That's all you get. Sorry. All right. Uh, so that seems to be this entire side of the abbey here. So, and we are about at the 30-minute mark or so, give or take. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for this episode we'll come back in the next one and we will explore the left side of empath abbey i feel like i'm at the twix factory but that's just kind of how this thing broke down so <laughs> i uh thank you so much for watching this episode with me i hope you come back uh, real soon for the next one and uh until then be seeing you <laughs>